Hello, you're listening to a podcast short with Varun Jain from Unihawk and me, James Pikeway. The role of that university application letter, and, the, and it's it's almost more than a letter now. It's a, it's a package yep. where they're demonstrating their uh, you know their investment in lifelong learning, their entrepreneurialness, their, and the list goes on and on. What what have you noticed? In that, I mean, it's it's many years you've been working with students in this in this realm. Twenty, yeah. What have you What have you noticed? What has changed over the twenty years, or has anything changed in the way students are putting together those letters, those packages? I would say the only thing that has changed is that because people, families, and students are more aware, it mm-hmm. has become a lot more competitive because people are more aware. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I would say what universities want is to, again, build this great community of people, of students who bring different skill sets together. And that's what you need to show the university. What do you bring to the table, right? Mm. And follow a framework. They want to see somebody who's disciplined. Uh, Show your high school coursework, what you have done. You've got grades. You show improvement. I'm doing really well in my five subjects out of six in IB and C in my sixth subject. I was not doing well last year, but look at my grades this year. I'm doing better. So you show with discipline consistency. All right. Other than that, you actually bring who are you as an individual. So do not follow what others are doing. Which is hard. It's hard. I'm looking (laughs) at my friends. Oh, but she did this and he did this and look what she got this offer. And oh, someone last year did this and they got that. That's really hard. Which is great to inspire yourself. Think inspiration. Don't think think emulation. You know, that's what all the fashion designers do, right? When it's not that they copy others' designs, they actually get inspired by others' designs, right? So we should get inspired by others. So if... So the difference between someone who gets into, let's say, an Ivy League and the one who has awesome grades, great profile, everything in place, and they come back and say, why did I get rejected? Yeah, It's just that, hey, I can't see you in your application. Which is where your team of curators becomes very useful because you've got this pedigree, you've been doing this for a long time, you're looking at it and saying, okay, I know you, we've been talking, where's the you? Exactly. And and that's what, so, so we have to stop thinking about what admissions committees want to read. In Which is what people are always thinking. It's exactly. like, what do they want to see? Where right. do they want to, yeah. Exactly. And and kids, high schoolers, or, or even for that matter, yeah. you know, uh, uh, working adults who are applying to top B schools, etc. Everyone has their beautiful story that actually yeah. they can share in their application apart from you know, your high school scores, SAT scores, your, you know, list of activities, recommendation letters. Those those are, of course, important part of your application. But other than that, uh, uh, reflecting on who you are and being able to uh, put it on that paper and communicate it to the university is very mm-hmm. important that, hey, this is who I am. I know who you guys are and see we are a great fit. Yeah. It's like a marriage, you know, between yeah. a student and that university. So, uh the high schooler has to just show that. And at Unihawk, this is what actually our agenda is to help, uh, you know, 13 to 17 years old build their profile, uh, help them, you know, uh, to shadow a lot of jobs, internships, do some online programs. We're just curating this beautiful program in association with uh, uh, a top-notch university in the UAE, which would be the first ever, I would say, residential program open to international students. Hey, instead of going to London or the US, you can actually come to the UA and do a summer program or a spring program or a winter program, residential program in this beautiful city. And uh-huh. it would give exposure to you know art, uh, kids who want to do artificial intelligence to uh, uh, who want to pursue f- uh, fashion design or marketing, entrepreneurship. So uh, followed by, uh, we actually do a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, counseling for parents uh, and help which them is out. which is a whole you know nice little spin on things because we've been talking about this and as much as the students need this counseling the parents need to be a little bit re-educated on that thought process as well um, as a parent yeah. myself um, I, I I don't quite like the word re-educated <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I think what's, what word would you use I would say I want to become counseled. 
I would say more aware. Yeah, That's more it. Aware. Simple. Okay. That's it. I want to be more aware. Uh, it's an important decision. I think uh, for most of the parents, uh, uh, their children's future or what they're going to do next is actually more important than what they themselves actually yeah. wanted to do in the past. I know parents who actually change their complete lifestyle to save for their kid's college education. I know yeah. parents who would send kid to an XYZ international school and cut on their other expenses. So they really do go out of their way to kind of support their kid's future, which is fantastic. But at the same time, uh, many of them are not aware. And little knowledge is a dangerous thing, but at the same time, a lot of knowledge is also a dangerous thing, you know? Yeah. So how to take that decision. Well, and, and talking to your friends and the it's, friends who, oh, I know someone who knows someone who knows someone. Exactly. We need, we need the third party. Exactly. So Unihawk. We, <laughs> totally. Why not? <laughs> so again, we help them just uh, figure yeah. out their final destination and the goal. We help them define that goal and we help them back, work backwards. Step one, step two, step three. So whether it's the exposure, deciding the program, budgeting, Excel sheets with your proper list of universities. Do you want to immigrate? Do you want to come back to the UAE? The job prospects, etc. Exposure. It's got to be terrifying for so many. I mean, there's so many boxes to tick there. So much to think right. about. Like, yeah, this is. We work with a health coach currently, uh, okay. and we have again curated this beautiful program, which actually prepares students before they actually leave home. Mm. Because I have actually seen kids falling sick. You know, Absolutely. the weather yeah. is different. They don't eat properly. They don't know what to eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner. They don't have work, uh, study life balance. Uh, some of them actually gain 30 kgs, some of them actually lose 10 kgs. So I think that's an important aspect. And in the UAE, a lot of kids are actually, I would say they're independent in many ways, uh, but they are not independent in many other ways where, you know, people have, you know, house helps and they don't know how to cook their own breakfast and uh, how to do their laundry, et yeah, cetera. So yeah. it's a huge change, you know. So uh, they have to be mentally prepared. So I would say we work with parents a lot. We help them uh, uh, in uh, becoming more aware of different curriculums, et cetera, and then come up with a plan and help them at every stage from test preparation to, uh, you know, profile building to choosing the university, applying to universities, their visas, and even after kids are in the universities, we stay in touch with them to help them build, uh, you know, their CVs to get jobs and then, uh, you know, connect them to our old students and alumni to, you know, find an internship in uh, South America or Africa or mm. uh, the Middle East and uh, then help them with their master's degree. So uh, I would say in the past 10, 11 years, our team has been already doing that. And uh, we just kind of, uh, uh, all of us came together uh, and we bring in like, I would say, uh, as a team of over 60 full-timers under Unihawk, we bring like good, uh, you know, 500, 700 years of experience. And we are passionate about uh, what we do uh, to bring, I, I wouldn't say change, uh, to help people uh, walk on a path uh, that will bring change in their lives.